On the channel today, we have two watches that have been sent in by Water Watches. They're very, very vintage inspired. In fact, they're very true to their heritage. And for those who don't know, Squal is a company that was, it's about a 60 year old company. It's a Swiss company and they used to originally make watch cases and supply the cases to other watch manufacturers like Blancpain, Zinn, Doxa, Tag Heuer and all the rest. So, and what we have here is two watches that are, they're basically limited editions that have been in, made in collaboration from a company called Water Watches and Squal. And people are saying, what well, Squal, is, isn't it pronounced Squale? Well, it's not. Uh, the original word squal is a French word and it means shark. So as you can see on the actual dial itself, there's a shark. So there's a bit of history going on with these watches and I tell you what, I'm quite impressed at what I've seen. I've had these for a week, I've been wearing them. Uh, full disclosure, you saw the pop-up. These watches have been sent out, they sent to me, look, review them, had a look at them, and if you decide, you can keep one. Well, but for me, it's a no-brainer. I'm definitely gonna keep one, but the biggest problem is which one? And, and, and the way I say that for a reason, because they are completely different watches, guys. I mean, dimension wise, case dimensions, you know, everything, the specs exactly the same, but they have a completely different feeling on the wrist, a completely different vibe. This particular one here is exceptional. It's a, it's a vintage feel, completely vintage from its, from its delicate bezel you can feel there's just a there's just a delicateness there from the Horween strap, which is this is absolutely outstanding. Uh, this thing melts on the wrist. I've had this on my wrist for the better part of a week, and I tell you what, it just melts. It really does, guys. It's it's been such a sublime experience, and yet this particular one here is completely different. Same case, same case size, dimensions, and all the rest, but a firmer bezel a more modern sort of approach. For me anyway, it's given me a more modern feel on the wrist. And in saying that, the, the watches have had such a different emotional effect on me throughout the week. It's been so difficult to put both of them down. That's been an enjoyment for the amount of vintage feel I'm getting out of it. That's been an enjoyment as far as a modern take or a reinterpretation of a vintage watch. So very, very interesting guys and very nice. For those who know me and know my channel, I go on feeling and, and emotive and how watches, you know, how they respond in a, in a particular way. I love what a watch brings to the table and these are completely different. So, but we'll get stuck into that. Let's get stuck into the specs of these watches, guys, and I'll tell you what's on offer. I pretty much think that these are gonna go out, they're gonna fly out the door. They're so nice. Uh, and the fact that there's only 300 and 500, they're gonna fly out the door very quickly. Now, first off, if you notice on this particular white one, I've got a tan leather strap. This is not the configuration on how the watch came. I put this um, this leather seatbelt style strap on. I just wanted to soften the look up a little bit. It originally comes on this. It's its own NATO seatbelt style. Very nice, but being black and white, I just wanted to soften it up and tone it down. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And on that note, both watches are available with strap changes. They've got different types of straps as options that are available on their website. So again, I'll leave all those links in the descriptions. Now let's get stuck into the specs. Case-wise, diameter-wise, everything's exactly the same on these watches. What we have, it's a 3920 Sabino case. So it's a, it's a unique case designed for them. The dimensions I'm measuring come in at 39 millimeter case diameter. The case height, I measure in exactly 12.2 mil to the top of that sapphire crystal. The lug width is 20 mil, and the lug to lug of 47.5. Now the weight of both watches, the black one in this configuration comes in at 75 grams, and the white one comes in at 80 exactly. Now the crowns on both watches are 6.8 millimeter crowns. They're conical style and very, very true to form to the Flieger style watches of that particular era. So. Now on the wrist, the watches, like I said, there's a completely different experience. They, they, they fit, they both fit comfortably very well. The Horween strap, the black version, it, it literally melts on your wrist. It really does. And it's being black, being very Blancpain style, it, it, it's a really nice experience. It's just giving you these uh, vibes of that era in such a nostalgic way. It was so hard to take off the wrist, a, a lovely piece. The delicateness, like I said, of that bezel, it's its just a, a gentle, very gentle, subtle clicking ratcheting system. It's so soft. 
Um, I, it, it's hard to explain. It's really hard to explain the differences between these. I've had such a uh, uh, an unusual experience with both of these watches, which I did not expect. I expected the same watch in different colored configurations. That's not what I got here. The movement on both watches, they both feature an ETA 2824-2 Swiss movement, 28,800 vibrations per hour. They're both regulated, so they're about plus five seconds per day, 38 hours power reserve. I've had them on the time grapher and they're both consistent and true to form. Looking at the loom of these watches, we have completely different loom. On the black one, we have Old Radium Super Luminova, and on the white one, we have Super Luminova ABLC3. So this one glows blue, this one glows green, and look, it's not the brightest experience if you look at the loom, but it's, it's good enough. It, and for a vintage vibe, for a vintage feel, it's excellent. It's excellent. Uh, it's not gonna be a loom monster, but you know what, I, I think, it's actually appropriately done in a way which gives you a nice subtle feel. Now getting onto the bezels, both watches have coin edge bezels, very flat, very thin, uh, inspired by the, uh, the era of the 60s. And I forgot to mention, even though the case diameter itself is 39 mil, both those bezels overhang the case by a mil and a half. So it's 40.5 millimeters, which extremely easy to grip anywhere and it just gives the watch a nicer presence on the wrist and something that I think they've thought out very, very well. The bezel action on both watches is completely different. This particular one here, the black one, it's, I don't even know if you can hear that. It's soft, it's delicate. The, the best word I can describe for this, it's delicate, but so is that strap. So is that Hallwind strap. Everything about this is delicate. It's built well, but it's delicate. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting off this particular watch. There's no back play. It just seems to settle in place and lines up spot on. So a really nice vintage experience, completely different to this. This one here, it's a little bit, it's, well, obviously it's louder, but it's more of a modern take on an older watch and you can feel it. You can feel it. It's the same bezel, but a lot stiffer, a lot firmer. And again, lines up, spot on, no problems. So very nicely designed guys, very nice uh, watches. The crystals on both watches, again, are different. Although they both feature boxed sapphire crystals, which I really like because if you look at the edge, the edge of the crystal itself, you can see the there's a milky white effect that happens from a box sapphire crystal, and I think it suits these watches to a T. It just seems to really frame that dial, and and it, I don't know. There's a feeling, an emotion coming off both of these watches that's that's different and yet so appealing. So I'm trying to convey to you guys what I'm getting out of these pieces. They're not perfect, but they're not trying to be perfect they're trying to to create an emotive feeling and I think they've done that and they've ex executed that very very well now looking at both box sapphire crystals they both feature AR coating on the underside the black version the black watch has a blue anti-reflective coating whereas the white one is so close to almost being clear and I think I think they've done that for a reason you see having old radium loom on this particular watch it's got a nice warmth and, a, and a, a, it just brings you, you know, sort of chocolatey colors. It, it's got a nice warm tone to it. And having that blue, it just cools it. it. It brings a nice coolness to the actual watch and the color palette, which is quite nice. And I think it suits it to a T. Whereas the white version, having a clear AR coating, it's just neutral. So I think they've, you know, they're so different guys, little subtle things like this make such a big difference in how a watch makes you feel and that's one of the main things I wanted to share with you guys. Now I'll tell you straight out what I like and dislike about both watches guys and I'll tell you my dislikes first. And my dislikes, well first and foremost, that crown. That crown is a conical style crown and for me it's a little bit, it depends on your finger size guys, but for me it's a little bit difficult to actually manipulate I think for guys with slightly bigger fingers, they might find this difficult. For smaller fingers, not a problem. The winding experience has been great. The latch down experience and the movement itself has been great, not a problem. So having that ETA in there has been really reliable. And like I said, on the time grapher, extremely accurate. But one of my dislikes is that crown. A second dislike is, look, potentially the loom. It's not the brightest of loom, 
but in saying that it's it's really true to form as far as its vintage execution is bringing something old school and and you, you know what if this was a loom monster i don't think it would have been appropriate if it had more copious amounts of loom in here i think it would have just done an injustice to both of these watches so it's just subtle enough to show you where you're at on the dial but not overbearing if that makes sense another dislike the fact that these things are limited editions you know you've got 500 pieces here 300 i don't see these things lasting like i said i think they're really well designed they're pretty much going to fly out the door and another dislike is potentially that hallwind strap i love it it would have been great to see it on this watch as well uh, but in saying that these things or forget this strap that's my strap but there are different strap options available for both watches get on their website and you'll see that this is available as an option i think they've got nato's and all the rest so but the likes there's so many to mention there is so many to mention about these watches guys the case diameter the dimensions the true to form styling from that era fantastic the etta movement fantastic um, completely different feeling watches you know one's all vintage and one's pretty much a modern interpretation so completely different vibe love that love that um, the whole wind strap like i mentioned this melts on the wrist it's so thin it is so thin it melt the watch melts on your wrist which i really really like and the spring bars i'll show you on this one the spring bars very good quality you know they're not fat spring bars but they you can see they're solid they're thick really well done and the fact that they both offer 300 meters of water resistance you've got such nice proportions in watches and you've got 300 meters of water resistance so i think overall a very beautiful package and presentation i'll show you the boxes this is the one that comes with the black it's a japanese style custom made box and look at that you, you you never think that it fits in here but it does it actually rolls let me show you something it wraps around here being so thin look how thin that is and sits inside the actual case so that's lovely even a, a subtle touch like that makes a huge difference in the emotion on how you feel of what you're receiving so i like that that's lovely the actual the white one comes with its own wallet as you can see You've got your warranty, two year warranty instructions, a really nice package guys. So, you know, I get excited about products that are doing it and are doing it properly. And I think these guys are nice. They're not perfect. They're not perfect, but I don't think they're trying to be perfect. I think they're trying to bring a vintage watch. You know, it's their, it's their case. It's their generation. They designed this stuff back in the sixties. Really well done. Um, now these watches they are unique design styling everything they're only available at water watches i will leave the links in the descriptions let me know what you think guys i'm i'm really impressed for the price uh, i don't know if i mentioned it that comes in at 15.99 that comes in at 14.99 so decently priced a very very decent watch and a good history a very good history so let me know your thoughts guys let me know what you think um you know for me i've, I've had a pleasure experiencing both of these watches the biggest problem is on and i'm being straight up the biggest issue which one do you keep which one do you keep they said to me you can keep a watch if you want and i thought you know what they're both lovely i, I don't want to give that back i really don't but i don't want to give that back either so uh in the end for me i've decided to go with that uh, I just think it suits my personality a little bit nicer, more flexible and robust for me, but that is stunning. So thank you for watching guys. Thank you for your patience. Sorry for the long overbearing video. I just wanted to express some feelings more than anything regarding these watches. But until next time guys, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.